Welcome to Carlo. I could say it's the second most beautiful county in Ireland because we all know Leash is the best. <laughs> it's a great honour to be here today on this, what I would consider a, a great occasion. Um, my name is Claire Fitzpatrick and I'm the Advancing Recovery Coordinator um, for Carlo Kilkenny South Tipperary and I also coordinate the Recovery College South East for the CHO5 area. And I suppose looking out on, on the full room that we have this morning, um, it makes me reflect on our, on our journey over the last five years. I started with this project in 2013, and that's what it was then, it was a project, whereas now I'm happy to say it has grown and has become part and parcel of, of what I do every day of the week. It's great to see what we have achieved and how much we have achieved in such a short time. We have two thriving involvement centres with another one about to open up in South Tipperary, which is peer support in action. A cup of tea, a chat, a simple approach to wellness and keeping myself well. We have five peer support workers now embedded in the mental health services, in the multidisciplinary teams, and in the day-to-day -day working of the service. The Recovery College Southeast, supported by the HSE, and the substance misuse services with a building in Kilkenny, but that reaches out to all the five counties. We have a peer educator in place, Amanda Quigley, and we have trained recovery educators now in all five counties, delivering recovery education. From October 2017 to May 2018, we co-produced 56 workshops and with 847 students coming to those workshops. I have to acknowledge the huge commitment from the executive management team to developing recovery oriented services. And I suppose I'm here today on behalf of David Heffernan, who, was, who couldn't make it today due to another arrangement. And I would like to say that this commitment seeps down to all local management teams with the involvement centers and the recovery committees, all having service managers and people who work within the HSC on those committees. So this is how change happens on a day-to-day -day delivery of services. Recovery principles and practice training is on the mandatory training program for all staff. And recently in Carlo, we had maintenance staff on this training and the feedback was very positive. So all of these achievements are down to many of you here in the room today. It shows that co-production really works. Sitting down together, learning, delivering a good quality service for all. And that's, and that's what we're about. I hope it's a productive day for everyone. Make the most of it. I'm looking forward to it. There's a fantastic learning to be had in this room. Mingle, open up the conversation, chat to each other. The title of the learning set, Recovery, Are We There Yet? And I can honestly say that we have started the journey. But like most journeys, that we go on in life, sometimes it's, it's not, it's how you get there is more important than the destination. I'm going to hand you over now to Gina Delaney and Francis Walsh, who are the joint national RE managers. Thank you very much. <laughs> 